Ladies and gentlemen, there is an update on Kyle Rittenhouse. Right now, his lawyer is trying to block extradition to Wisconsin. And I don't see how that this can be avoided because he crossed state lines with his mother and he committed this crime. So how could it possibly be avoided, you know, for him to be extradited back to Wisconsin? Well, the reason why they don't want to send this 17 year old back to Wisconsin, because in that state, he would get tried as an adult which means life behind bars. But, you know, more than, you know, somebody like Trump will probably get him out of the whole thing. We know how everything works in this idiot nation. So just expect some underhanded shit and he'll be free. All right, so this is October 8th, 2020. Lawyers for Kyle Rittenhouse charged with killing two people and wounding a third at a protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin, filed a petition Thursday asking an Illinois court to stop the teen's extradition to Wisconsin, where he would be treated as an adult while in custody. Rittenhouse 17 had gone to Kenosha from his home across the state of Illinois. And we know what happened when he went to the protest. The protest and riot followed the shooting of Jacob Blake, a black man, by a white Kenosha police officer. His lawyers said their client and a friend had decided to arm themselves and help protect businesses in Kenosha. Well, you know, nobody needs a person to cross state lines to protect a business, y'all. So it's a BS reason at the end of the day. It really is. I mean, they got plenty of officers and people there that can protect property. So for him to use that as his excuse to me is just pretty lame. For real. I mean, what, there's no people in Wisconsin that knows how to just guard over property? Come on. All right, y'all. So let's go back here. All right. So his lawyer have said their client and a friend had decided to help protect businesses in Kenosha where a number of shops had been looted and set aflame. Again, that's the responsibility of the authorities in Wisconsin. They get paid a salary to do that. The shootings, which captured on video, occurred after Mr. Rittenhouse had accosted um, during a protest. Uh, They're saying he was accosted. So in their petition filed in circuit court in Lake County, Illinois, the lawyer said threats have been made on their client's life, making them concerned about his safety. That's BS. It's BS, y'all. It's complete BS. All right. So now there's this great concern about his safety. Look, he wasn't worried about that when he crossed state lines and and killed two people. Right. So why be concerned about all of that now? (laughs) I mean, they're cheering this dude on. And as far as what I'm looking at, this is white on white crime. That's what it is. He killed two white people. But you know how these folks are. You know, they'll declare themselves haters of black people and then they'll go out there on a rampage and and shoot white people. Go figure. But the bottom line is, if anybody else murders in this country, they go to jail. There shouldn't be no exception when it comes down to Kyle Rittenhouse. That's the way I see it. But, you know, you see a lot of people that look like him, that are cheering him on, and they want him out of this whole thing. And you heard how President Trump talked. You know, he was trying to say this dude is a hero. Hey, if he kills people that look like you and you claim that's a hero, then so be it. I ain't mad at you. I'm not mad at you. 
But y'all, that's the only reason why they don't want him to cross state lines. They're, they're in fear of him being treated as an adult, which means he will go into a regular jail and not a juvenile detention center. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all tell me what you think. I mean, why should he get special treatment for killing two people and wounding a, a third? He shouldn't get any special treatment for that. And I think he should go back to Wisconsin. That's where the crime took place. Didn't happen in Illinois. Why should it be court for him in Illinois? Didn't happen there. You and your mother decided to hop in a car and go over state lines. So now that same state you chose to go to at your own free will now wants you to come back there for trial. And trust me, I think at the end of the day, they are going to get him back. I don't, I don't see how his attorneys will win this appeal. I don't see how they will. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.